Your goal is to get away. That's your number one goal is to survive, to get away from this attack. After it, if you can remember to provide good detail, but your first goal is to get away because you're priceless, not your items. An important thing to remember, you're priceless, not your items. Today on Tomorrow Life, we're going to show you how to try to keep both you and your items safe if you fall victim to an attack, and that guy is going to tell you how. Your eyes are the window to your soul. They are also the windows to your health. From the shape of your eyelids to their color, they can indicate problems in just a glimpse. Coming up, we show you how a dentist looked into the eyes of his 11-year-old patient and ended up saving her life. Sometimes there is no pain like tooth pain. You know the one keeping you up all night, grabbing the side of your face after you eat or drink something? Angie Hicks from Angie's List tells us how to overcome tooth sensitivity Plus, how you can get the dental care you may desperately need at a cost you can afford, free. You won't have to turn these men and women in for free. As a matter of fact, a good lead could bring you cash. See if you can help law enforcement locate these men and women in today's Most Wanted Monday. While all parents want their children to get a great education, one with a solid foundation and a great core. I'll show you a school where staff and teachers work together to develop the whole child through intellectual, social, emotional, cultural, and physical growth from age six weeks through eighth grade. And it says it creates an airtight seal to lock freshness in its original packaging. So of course, we had to put it to the test. Does it work? Well, you know, we can't tell you that right now, but we can in a few minutes. No Marvel Live starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I am Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Dumb Marvel Live from Historic Studio D. So I guess you could say we had the big thaw yesterday <laughs> and this morning, yeah. and now we're back to the big freeze again. Colder and colder. Just be careful. I about uh, wiped out on my driveway this morning with the black ice. Did so, you really? Yeah, you need to watch out, especially yeah. since it's all freezing again. All over again. Yeah. Watch out for that. You know what? I'm glad you said that. I want to say, give a quick shout out uh, this afternoon to the St. Michael's Fire Department. We made a save last week. The Easton Fire Department called them for their water and ice rescue skills to save a yellow lab that had fallen into Dixon Creek. Uh, the dog was about 275 feet out. Rescuers were actually swimming before they even got halfway oh, there. Wow. Uh, they got him out safely. He's now back with his humans. Everything is good. So great job, guys. Yeah, great Excellent job. job. Thank you so much. Well, even though it felt like spring yesterday, it's not yet. However, the spring turkey hunting season isn't far off. The Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge has scheduled a youth turkey hunt for Saturday, April 11th. Now, permit application packets may be picked up at the Refuge Visitor Center at 2145 Key Wallace Drive between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you want some more information, call the hunt coordinator. This number is 410-228. 5018. You know, I like a lot better talking about spring than I do cold and ice. Yeah. So, uh, if you're a Maryland resident and you join the Arbor Day Foundation this week, you can get 10 Eastern Redbud trees for free. The free trees are part of the nonprofit foundation's Trees for America campaign. You can uh, plant them once the permafrost is finally melted <laughs> off. To become a member of the foundation and receive the free trees, all you have to do is send a $10 contribution to 10 free Eastern Redbud trees. Arbor Day Foundation, 100 Arbor Avenue, that's Nebraska City, Nebraska, 68410. Oh, you got to do that by February 28th. And we like talking about spring, but I like talking about summer even more. And it's not too early for you to think about summer camps. Kids who are looking for fun at Camp Barnes this summer will be glad to hear that applications will be available next week. Camp Barnes was originally designed over 60 years ago to provide children who were unable to attend summer camp an opportunity to experience life at a youth camp. Applications for Delaware residents between 10 and 13 will be available at all Delaware State Police troops. Because right. summer camp is... Summer camp. you got to go. It's summer camp. <laughs> now, going upwards in age a little bit from kids, because we are always ready to say congratulations. The UMES men's basketball team has a winning season for the first time since their 93-94 wow. season after beating South Carolina State over the weekend. Uh, this is some video from a, a game last month. Over the weekend, the Hawks beat the Bulldogs 68-56. With that win, they stay in third place in the MEAC behind North Carolina Central and Norfolk State. The four top-seeded teams will receive a first-round bye in next month's MEAC tournament. UMES returns to action Saturday in Dover against rival Delaware State. Wow, Saturday, the last day of February. March is coming up upon us. And if you're filling up your calendar for March, Brian Clark performs a special evening of music to benefit Possum Point players Saturday, March 7th. Now, Clark spans Sammy Davis Jr. to Sinatra, 
to Ray Charles. Now tickets are $40 and all seats are reserved. Now he will be performing on the Delmarva Life stage in the not too distant future. If you'd like to buy tickets to the Possum Point Player Show, call 302-856-4560. It's going to be a good show. We want to tell you about something that happened uh, last week mm. in Salisbury. Take a look at these health care workers at Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Representatives from the March of Dimes honored them with a day of gratitude to thank them for all they do for the little ones. Aw. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. Great job, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Did you stay up late to see Birdman win Best Picture or... Eddie Redmayne, Best Actor, or Julianna Moore, Best Actress on the I did not. 87, I didn't either. <laughs> 87th <laughs> Annual Academy Awards. Did you happen to see John Travolta get raked over the coals for messing up Adina Menzel's name last year? Benedict Cumberbatch. It's not only the most awesome name in show business, it's also the sound you get when you ask John Travolta to pronounce Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage my very dear friend, Glom Gazingo. <laughs> <laughs> Double whack. I wonder if she came up with that name. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. But you, you, my darling, my beautiful, my wickedly talented Adina Menzel. You got it! <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> you did it! That was so good! It's not like it's going to follow me around for the rest of my life or anything. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, we've seen the touching videos of dogs welcoming home their owners who have just returned from a military tour. Well, take a look at this oh, dog. Happy so happy his human is home. Aww. But let's just see what happens when she tries to get the same love from her cat. Yeah ain't happening. <laughs> Some cats are so excited to see their human, they actually run off into another room to cry, I guess. <laughs> or maybe they want to jump away from their human's arms so they can go cry. Oh my Tears goodness. Joy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the cat. Well, some more folks who help serve our community are local police. And today, Lieutenant Tim Robinson joins us with another batch of fugitives and today's most wanted. See if you recognize anyone. That's next. Plus, how do you protect yourself from becoming a victim? Still ahead, we're going to learn how to protect ourselves while walking alone and how a few simple steps may help you become more prepared. From protecting ourselves to protecting our eyesight, later we hear some tips on how to prevent corneal abrasions. We learn the causes and how this injury is much more common than you might think. Something that's all too common for many, tooth sensitivity. If your teeth are sensitive, you already know certain foods and drinks can make them hurt. You're going to find out how you can make your mouth feel much better. Plus, the incredible story of one little girl whose life was saved by her dentist. Hear how it wasn't her teeth that tipped him off. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.